so I basically just got back from Harry Potter World this afternoon, like around 2, 1.30. And right now, I'm about to go head on to the gym. I haven't worked out in the past two days. So, like, I've been in Harry Potter World to join myself, and I haven't worked out. I haven't done any powerlifting, any bodybuilding. Today's kind of my first day back working out. Super excited to go to the gym. I'm just like... <laughs> Two days off is kind of a long time to take off from the gym for me personally, but I'm, I'm ready to kill it. I'm wearing my, uh, <laughs> I'm wearing my Gryffindor Team Captain Quidditch shirt. Now it's small. It looks a little tight on me because it's a kid's large. I thought it was actually an adult large, but like whenever I went to go check it out, like when I put it on, when I ever got back to my hotel room, I looked. I'm like, man, this is pretty tight. I'm like, dang, I'm starting to feel out. Large is really, really good now. And I looked on the back and it said kids large. So I looked at it. I was like. This is probably just gonna become a workout shirt because it's not it's not too tight, right? Like it's it's not too bad. It it can pass as a workout shirt. I just can't wear this around like when I'm chilling. It's like it's like hugging the it's like hugging the sleeves, man. Like look at that. It's like hugging the arms. Look at that. The sleeves are hugging the arms, man. But uh, I'm not complaining. You know, I used to wear my shirts like this all the time. Look at this. Don't be jealous. Look at this, man. You know what I'm saying? Nice and this is a this is a great workout shirt. Ripping Gryffindor, dog. All right, let's head to the gym. Man, I got back home. And nobody was here. I opened the door. My brother's car is here, but uh, my mom's car and my sister's car are not here. It's like nobody's here. It's completely quiet. I was expecting to be welcomed with open arms, but uh, I came home to an empty house. Right now, I'm just taking some pre-workout. I'm just gonna take this straight to the face. So we got the flight pre-workout from Bear Performance Nutrition and then the endo pump. I know this is gonna hit me kind of hard just because I haven't, uh, I haven't like, been working out or taking this in a while and I feel like the I'm gonna feel it all on my face so straight to the straight to the dome let's do this mm. Mm. <laughs> mixing up the BCAs people showing fake love to me straight up to my face straight up to my face I've been down so long look like up to me <laughs> Okay, so let's discuss what my plans are. So as, as most of you guys should know, I'm competing once again in February at the Aggie Showdown and College Station. It's going to go down. And basically what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to build my strength back up from, you know, I mean like my body's fatigued from lifting so heavy at the uh, Southern Regionals that I did uh, a couple weeks ago. And right now I'm just getting my buddy readjusted back to lifting heavy weights, getting that volume in. And then I'm going to start peaking around four weeks out whenever it's time to compete at the Aggie Showdown. So basically I'm just trying to get my numbers up as much as I possibly can in this short amount of time. I mean, it shouldn't make too much of a big difference, but doing this first initial meet, uh, come, returning back to the platform was to kind of gauge my strength and see where I was. And I'm really happy where I was initially. So now it's like time to really push the envelope and try to really like see where I'm at. And I am dropping back down to the 83 kg weight class. I just didn't feel like cutting um, this last, uh, this previous meet. Just cause I just was not in the mood to cut. I don't know what it was. I just didn't feel like dropping any water weight. I just wanted to come in, relax and lift and uh, get myself readjusted to getting that feeling of lifting on the platform. So now that I've accomplished that, it's time to really dial in, focus on, um, focus on building my strength back up and just becoming the best 83 kg lifter I could possibly be. Once again, guys, 83 kg translates to 183 pounds. And, uh, yeah. So let's talk about the workout today. Now today is going to be like a bench emphasis type of day. I have, um, I think I have a five by seven with 285 pounds on bench. Once again, it's like not too heavy, but what I'm gonna be focusing on today is like, when it comes to bench is, is focusing on my technique, making sure I'm hitting all my cues, maybe even widening out my, my grip just a tiny bit, cause I do have long arms for my frame. For my frame. So it's like, I could I could get a wider grip and, and shorten the range of motion just a little bit more. I mean, I have been shortening my range of motion as of late. And I think that now that I'm getting more accustomed to it, maybe it's time to take that next step in and widening out my grip just a tad bit more. But yeah, and then we got some front squats and then maybe some light deadlifting. That's gonna be the workout for today. And then after that, we're gonna do a full bodybuilding workout, which is gonna be a push day, chest and shoulders and triceps. I'm just, it's gonna be, I know I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow because I haven't lifted it in two days. So like usually coming off like rest days or usually when you have your best workouts because like you're, you're just itching to get back into it.
So as you can see, we already have 285 pounds on the bar. That was my first set of seven. I came into the gym specifically wanting to widen out my grip just a tad bit more. Like, let me show you guys. So before, my grip was right here. So my middle finger was on the rung, or the bench, uh, the bench little rung right here. Now I moved out to my index finger. So it's like just like maybe, maybe just like an inch, an inch difference, but it's making, it's making a big difference whenever it comes to my bench because like now I'm able to feel my upper back be a lot tighter in the movement. I'm feeling my back a lot more. It kind of feels like a reverse row. And it's like, it allows me to get my back activated. It allows more muscles to be activated when I'm bench pressing. And the range of motion is a lot shorter. My arch is becoming a lot more natural because my grips are getting a little bit wider. So it allows me to get like a wider foundation, a wider base. It just feels a lot different. I'm already fatigued, like set number one, I'm tired. But you saw how the bar was moving on set number two. It was moving nice and solid, nice and easy, easy weight. So basically I just want, the, want all my reps to look exactly the same from the first rep to the last rep on all my sets. So 285 pounds starting for like light work. It's moving a lot. It's moving easier. It's just the range of motion, just a huge, huge difference. I think people really underestimate that. Like I'm a short guy, but I have long arms for my frame. So it's like whenever I'm able to kind of make that motion a lot shorter, it's easier for me and uh, I can push more weight because I'm not moving. I'm not traveling a longer distance. So yeah, this feels good. I think I'll, even after this, I'm still gonna move my grip out a little bit more. We'll keep moving it, moving it, see where I land and see what's most comfortable for me. But uh, yeah, it's feels solid. So let's get the following sets out of the way. It should be easy. As you guys can see, I'm jamming that Maxo cream. I'm getting live right now. But uh, bench, bench went pretty good. I did it like, I did it really fast paced. I was waiting like two minutes in between sets, knocked it out. But now we have high bar squats for 385 pounds. Now high bar squats are kind of like my weakness whenever it comes to squats, just because I feel like my quads are the weaker, um, weaker muscle group whenever it comes to doing my squats. But I uh, gotta focus on the weak points in order to make everything else better. Ugh, we got three by six, should go wide pretty quickly. I'm gonna do this bellish just because it's 385 pounds and for me that's relatively lightweight. And I kind of want to work out my core while I'm working out, uh, doing my squats. So I'm just gonna try to focus on my core being tight. I used to do bellish squats all the time. Never used to be a big deal. Now it's like whenever I get up to a fourth place, I'm like, oh, gotta put on my belt. It's like, man, I was never like that. So I'm gonna try to get some um, indirect core work going and like get like a little mini core workout while doing these squats. But three sets of six, she went by pretty fast. Let's get this first set out of the way. Okay, so I've wrapped up the powerlifting portion of my workout. Now it's time to move on to the bodybuilding portion of my workout. And I'm kind of explaining to you guys how I power build. So a lot of powerlifters, they'll do their main uh, powerlifting movements, bench squat, deadlift, and they do like maybe some slight accessory work. So that's gonna be maybe like uh, three different three different slight movements with like three sets of eight or something like that. Me, I kind of want to get a full bodybuilding workout in. So once again, I erase the fact that I did a powerlifting workout and I kind of move on and do a full on like 45 to 45 minutes to an hour body building workout. So what that's gonna look like is like, I'm gonna be increasing the intensity of the workout. I'm gonna be getting a lot of sets in, probably like anywhere four to five sets in. What I try to make sure is that I kind of complement whatever powerlifting workout I did do. So today was like an emphasis on bench. So that means I'm gonna be working out chest, uh, triceps and shoulders. So I'm gonna try to um, just get a quick pump. And it's like, when you do that, you're activating and you're making that muscle grow. And bigger muscles can equate to more strength in the muscle. But let's get this out of the way. What I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be a drop set. So I'm gonna do 225 pounds on incline bench and I'm gonna drop down a plate and then maybe uh, do like a rep out with 45 plates on each side. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in real time right now.
Okay, so unfortunately I was talking to you guys and I was explaining what I was doing next, but then I looked to play it back on my Sony A7 and I came to uh, came to find out that my Sony A7 actually died while I was talking. So I have to re-explain what I was talking about earlier. So basically now we're moving on, like I've already done a couple of chest workouts, but now we're moving on to a tricep and shoulder superset. So basically what I'm gonna be doing here, it's gonna be doing close grip bench. I'm gonna do maybe like uh, eight to 10 to 12 reps, somewhere around that range. And I'm gonna superset it with some uh, seated dumbbell lateral raises. Seated lateral raises with the dumbbells. Why do I, every single time I try and say that, I just get it confused. But anyways, once again, the focus of power building for me is to kind of like, of course, you're working on aesthetics whenever you're doing um, isolation work, uh, when you're, whenever you're isolating the muscle groups. So I, I did bench today, the emphasis was bench. So that means uh, I'm gonna be working out bench assisting muscles, with, and that's gonna be chest, triceps, shoulders. So I already did my chest workout. I did like maybe uh, three movements, but the, it was like high intensity, drop sets, uh, supersets, stuff like that. So now I'm moving on to the tricep and shoulder portion of this workout. And I'm doing supersets just because I don't want the workout to drag on too long. Whenever you tend to work out like multiple muscle groups at a time and you try to you try to isolate each muscle group, you kind of end up spending like two, two and a half hours in the gym. I want to minimize the amount of time I'm in here and, and like by doing that, I increase intensity. So I'm doing, this workout may end up being like maybe 45 minutes, I'm already done. 30 minutes have passed by and it's gone pretty quick. But it's like you're getting both of the best worlds. So you get bodybuilding, you get the pump, and you get powerlifting as well because if you're working on the muscles and you're making the muscles stronger, that's only gonna assist you whenever it comes to moving and lifting more weight. So once again, guys, it's gonna be a chest, uh, not chest, a tricep and shoulder superset. And I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in real time right now. Okay guys, so I basically just wrapped up the workout, finishing up, so once again guys, basically worked out, oh, it's like all oh, zoomed in, hold on, let's try, try, oh no, zoom in, there we go, come on, okay, alright, so I worked out shoulders, chest, and tricep, now it's time to get something to eat, Ooh, man, pretty successful day, it's been two days since I went to weights, and it's just like, normally like you just come back and you feel really good, got the pump going, my forearms were, were pumped right now, that's weird, but anyways, yeah, oh. Yeah, I'm even kind of scared to see how much I weigh right now. Uh, the last time I weighed myself was like a one, 190, 191. It's so like I had a pretty, uh, I kind of balled out this weekend. Like I was just eating constant food. I wasn't drinking enough water. So probably holding a lot of water weight. Don't really want to check the scale. I'll probably check it now. Dang, I'm zooming in again. I'll probably check it later. But yeah, let's head on home. I actually forgot. Um, I'm actually adding abs into my daily workout routine. So I guess like, Every day, I'm gonna be doing abs. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing today. So I'm just doing some weighted planks and I'm also doing some weighted crunches. So I'm just, it's gonna be a super set. But I'll put it to the side and show you guys what it looks like. So I'm all showered up. I'm actually about to head on to go watch Rogue One. Now, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I do enjoy Star Wars. Like, I'm not like, I like I know Mace Windu and, and, and Han Solo and all those characters. Like, I'm not a super geeky Star Wars fan like I am Harry Potter, but I do enjoy watching Star Wars. So I'm gonna go and watch Rogue One right now. And uh, I don't know, last Star, Wars, last Star Wars movie was cool, but like I kind of fell asleep during it. <laughs> I fell asleep like three times. Not that I don't like Star Wars, it's just that I watch it at a later time and I tend to fall asleep in movies whenever that happens. But I'll let you guys know what I think about it. I mean, like, you know, I'm not like a big guy, so like, I'm not, I don't know the whole backstory. I know enough to enjoy it. So that's my stance on Star Wars right now. But yeah, I'm gonna go see Rogue One. I think Force Whitaker's in it. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. Force Whitaker's a good actor. Should be interesting. Three hours later. Oh man. Whew. Okay, so I've actually watched Rogue One. It was all right. It was cool. Um, you know, once again, guys, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, so it's hard for me to make that connection. I know, like, enough of the background story to enjoy the movies, but it was kind of cool to have, I think it was, like, the story told from the other side of how they acquired the information about the weak point for the Death Star. 
so that was dope now i like it's like five in the morning i stayed up all night to make sure i got this video done so this is my video from me going to universal studios basically harry potter world and uh i just decided to stay up and, and finish up this video because i I napped early in the day and I napped like on all my flights coming back to Houston so I just didn't really feel like sleeping like I wasn't I didn't really get sleepy uh, my sleep schedule is all kind of messed up right now so I was like let me take advantage get this video done make sure it's uploaded um, today at 9 o'clock but yeah I got it done so this video is actually coming to an end so I finished the video on here and then I'm about to edit another video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video just kind of want to bring you into my world of how I power build and all that good stuff because I think a lot of people go about power building a little bit different some people do heavy um, bodybuilding movements and they call that power building me personally I like to combine the two so I have my powerlifting portion of the workout then I have my bodybuilding portion of the workout that complements the powerlifting portion and it also helps me you know I mean like of course it can help me stay aesthetic but there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to doing that stuff so I try to combine both uh, I try to combine both of these worlds because it, why not you know who who doesn't want to be aesthetic and strong like who doesn't want to go into the gym look like they lift and actually perform you know I, I I mean you know I love doing compound movements I like lifting heavy weight and I like looking good so you know when you combine the two you get the both of the best worlds what's wrong with that why not do both you know so yeah this video is coming to end hope you guys enjoyed it like always if you guys like this video please like comment share subscribe get better today I'm out Shooting shots at the net. I was running up in spots with the Glock and this and that. I was 12 years old when the cops kicked the door. Had the gun to my mama, baby sister on the floor. My pops